Good morning, YouTubian friends. Today we're going to go over the AA Performance Big Valve heads that we have here that's going to be going into Bentley's engine. So I uh, already got one done, but I figured I'd go ahead and hit the record button here and show you guys what we're looking at. So these, again, are from AA Performance. They have the larger valves in them, heavy-duty valve springs. Um, overall, they're actually pretty good. The uh, ports in them, if I can show you, they're actually opened up decent. Um, I do not have his intake, so I cannot intake match everything, but, you know, hey, we're doing what we're doing here. <clears throat> the combustion chambers actually look pretty decent. Their casting's not bad, a little rough. Um, he doesn't want me to smooth it out, so I'm not going to bother. However, if you look down into there, everything is nice and clear. Look at that. Not much casting flaws at all. Actually pretty impressed. Everything's nice and open. Don't really have to open anything up. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to CC heads. It's actually pretty simple. Only need a few things. I usually use a couple pieces of wood to hold the head as level as I can get it. And then you buy yourself one of these kits. Comes with a couple different size discs and a syringe. Give you a, a hint. Over time, these go bad. And you can actually buy new ones. Uh, just get something that's around 60 milliliters. Um, basically, a 1cc is 1 milliliter. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. So all we're gonna do is drop the appropriate disc in there, and then we're going to slide this over so you can see better. Now let me adjust you. Can you see? All right, I'm gonna fill up the syringe with water. Tip it right side up. Get the air bubbles out. So now your syringe actually shows 60 milliliters worth of fluid. Pull it down, some people grease it in place. And you know what? One important tip I forgot to tell you. It's a good idea. Put the spark plugs in. Let me do that real quick. Look at that, got ahead of myself and was like, oh yeah, let me just record this real quick. Yeah, oops. <clears throat> Another note, these heads actually require long reach plugs. So they're not the typical shorts that you would see. So those are actually a long reach. So I'll go ahead and thread those in. Just finger tight them. That's all we really need to do. And then later I'll clean up all the water all over my workbench. All right, let's get this set back up. Okay, let me refill my syringe with Wawa. Get it back down to 60 milliliters. Insert disc. And just slowly add the water. Now again, this little two by four setup gets me almost dead level. What you wanna do now is go ahead and work the air bubbles out just by kind of tilting it around a little bit. There we go. Almost there. All right. There we go. It's full, it's right up to the bottom. If we read it, we've got about two milliliters left. So that would make 60 milliliters minus two, 58 cc chambers. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy. That's it. Pop it out, dump the water out, and we are done with that cylinder. So then usually what I do is make sure it's dry, 
take a pivot it so you can see all right on there 58 cc's <clears throat> that way we remember is you need this measurement along with your deck height measurement in order to get a compression ratio and again depending on what cam you're running will depend on what compression ratio they recommend this engine we're running a uh, angle w100 on a 1641 with the big valve heads. This is not uh, my setup. This is something that the person wants done. He already had the heads, so that's what he wants to run. So that's what we're doing. So anyway, <clears throat> the W100 cam actually calls for, I believe, a seven and a half to eight and a quarter compression. Honestly, hopefully the uh, deck height will be okay. So 58 cc chambers. We'll actually put us in the ballpark where we need to be. Um, I have a feeling we're going to be a little low or on the lower side, but that'll be next video. So anyway, if you have any questions, comment below. New subscribers, I appreciate it. Make sure you like my dirty thumb, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one, guys. Enjoy.